And welcome back to Medscore Radio. Today we're going to be talking about GISTS, G-I-S-T-S. Gastrointestinal stromal tumors are the most common mesenchymal tumor in the abdomen, and the most common place they occur is in the stomach. The stromal part of the name is a misnomer. The actual cell of origin is the intestinal cell of Kajal. What is that cell? Glad you asked. It is a cell that lives in the muscularis propria and acts as a pacemaker for gut peristalsis. GIST tumor cells can be thin and elongated spindle cell type or more epithelial looking epithelioid type. GISTs usually present with symptoms related to mass effects. They can get pretty big before they show up clinically. Some of them have an ulcerated surface though and those may present with symptoms related to bleeding, like iron deficiency anemia. Can I just get on my soapbox for a second? This is a good example of why you shouldn't take iron as a supplement, unless your doctor prescribes it, of course. This is especially important in older patients. Anyway, hear me out. If you have a tumor in your stomach or colon that is ulcerated, you can lose blood. Sometimes you see the blood in your stool, but sometimes it's such a small amount that you can't even see it. It's called occult bleeding. Over time, as you lose more and more blood, you're going to get iron deficient, and eventually you'll start showing signs and symptoms of anemia, fatigue, lightheadedness, palpitations, pale skin, etc. Sometimes these signs of iron deficiency can be the thing that actually brings the patient into the physician, not the tumor itself. So what happens if the patient is taking iron? No anemia develops. The extra iron in the supplement masks the iron deficiency, and the patient won't come in until the tumor shows up in some other fashion, which might be too late. Okay, I'm off my soapbox, this particular one anyway. I have quite a few of them, just warning you. Treatment for GISTs is usually surgical. Some tumors also respond well to imatinib, the tyrosine kinase inhibitor that is so effective in chronic myeloid leukemia. To read more on GISTs, see Robin's 9th edition, page 775, or look at the 8th edition, page 790. And as always, thanks for checking in and listening to me on Medscore Radio.